You know, for somebody who wants me to speed things up, you keep laying way back there so that I can't get to you. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Counterpart. This is Blackbirds. It is a sour stout with blueberries, vanilla, almond, cinnamon, and lactose. And it is 5% alcohol by volume. And it's fair weather and counterpart. Why are you giving me the finger? You like stouts. You like sours. This is a sour stout with vanilla and blueberries and almonds and cinnamon and lactose. Why are you just looking at me like that and not saying anything? I like that you say lactose like it's some important. It's it, You don't taste lactose. I never drink something with lactose in it and go, you know what, this tastes like it's got milk in it. Lactose isn't just milk. It's yes, I'm aware it's not just milk. It's the sugar that's found in milk. However, on its own... It does, does have really... a flavor. What? It does have a flavor. Not really. There you go. That is a cool looking color because... It is like a weird purpley stout. And look at that head. That head has some weird hue to it. Um, you know, I got excited about this. I thought this was going to be amazing. It smells sour, yet it smells sweet at the same time. It's a weird smell. Because I can smell the lactose. Of course you can. I can smell the vanilla. I can smell the cinnamon, and I can smell the lactobacillus. I can't for say for sure say I smell anything stouty about this. That's right, I'm using Matt's word, stouty. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought you said you were going to do better. I'm trying, honey, I'm trying. <sighs> So I take it that's not better for you? No. What do you taste? I taste sour. I taste blueberries. And then you throw in like fucking hot chocolate. It just, ugh. You don't like blueberry hot chocolate? No. You know who you ever see blueberry hot chocolate for sale on shelves? No. You know why? Because it's stupid. So how are we going for steak and BJ day? <laughs> what? You didn't get a steak for dinner, so you don't get a BJ to match. Come on now. You're going to have steak and BJ day. Um, <laughs> I might give you a Valentine's Day and BJ. I don't know. But it's March 14th. Yes, but the truckers ruined Valentine's Day in Ottawa, so... Today is Ottawa's Valentine's Day. Um, bready, biscuity, little chocolatey, little coffee. There is a blueberry note there, but it's a weird sweet blueberry note, which is weird to me because it's a sour thing. There is a sour note to it, but it's more tart than sour because of all the shit they put in on top of it. It does have that creaminess that lactose adds. It does have that almost, almost milky taste that lactose adds. I'm learning how to drink out of this without getting the glug glug going. You gotta start really slow. You gotta kind of bend down. Let it come to you. Let it fill up the next one slowly. That seems like a lot of work. You should just get a better glass. <laughs> like, seriously. Because if you don't do that, it does this. It did nothing that time. Of course it did. That's because it's almost empty, dum dum. Um, out of ten, honey. Like a oh, one. You don't like this at all. I don't like it at all. Like I said, there's a reason why you don't see blueberry hot chocolate on the shelves because it's a stupid fucking idea. See, I'm gonna give this a seven seven five. I don't mind Great. this. I would Good buy this for again. You. Counterpart and I don't get along. We don't see eye to eye. I don't think I've ever liked one of their beers. Yes, you have. I've liked very few of you their beers. You liked a lot of their like sours and their. And they just, yeah. Okay, YouTube. Bye-bye. <clears throat>